Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So for today's video I am going to do another tag video as you can see by the title of this video uh, but this is called my makeup journey tag and this was created by Annette's Makeup Corner. If you notice that name it's because I did a collab with her a couple of weeks ago maybe even a month ago. I don't know but I will link her channel in my description box. I will link her video in my description box and I will also write down all of the questions or I will have the questions in my description box in case you are a YouTuber and you want to do this tag as well. If you're not a YouTuber, please feel free to answer the comments or the questions anyway. This makeup look I have recorded, I did use the Emily Noel uh, and Makeup Revolution Wants palette which looks like this. It's a big one. Okay, so the first question is how old were you when you started wearing makeup? And I think I was around... <sighs> okay, I'm really sorry, but I don't know where I was because Siggy, he actually started barfing. Barking? No, barfing. Like throwing up. And he is still kind of... You know, since his surgery, he's still a little bit... He gets scared when something is wrong with his mouth. So now he started throwing up. He just started shaking. It can be that, or it's because he thinks that he has done something wrong. And he gets scared that he's going to, like, I'm going to get mad at him. So that has to mean that something, ha I mean, I still think that maybe something happened where he lived, like, his past family. Because he gets so scared that he starts to shake like this. And then he just kind of curls up into this small little ball. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's... What's up with that? Um, but we're just gonna continue with the question. And the question was, when I got into makeup, I have kind of always been into makeup. When I was young, um, my mom actually thought that, like I always went into my mom's, into her makeup and used it and her hair products and like everything like that. Um, one time she thought that I had taken my own poo and smeared it like over the uh, toilet but it was just that <laughs> I had taken her foundation so, so she was a little bit more excited about that anyway but I started wearing makeup when I was 10 I think I went to fourth grade I don't know if it's the same in other places where when you start fourth grade but I was 10 years old anyway and my mom had purchased like lipsticks for me there were these like really cheap crappy lipsticks but she had purchased them for me in like a bunch of different shades so I had like everything from a red to a green to a blue and everything and I wore them and I brought them to school my mom didn't know this and then I kind of let all of the other girls wear my lipsticks and we were like oh my god the teacher won't know but they got really mad at us and now I'm like, why did the teacher care? Because they're not our parents, so I'm not really sure. But then when I got into fifth grade, I actually started, when I was 11, I started wearing mascara and then a little bit of eyeshadow, and that was it. Then when I got older, I actually didn't really care about makeup. I only bought if it was on sale. I had a lipstick that I liked, like a pink lipstick. I had a bunch of different pink lipsticks that I liked to wear. But it wasn't until I was, was maybe 22 or 23 that I really got into makeup like I am right now. Before I've said this, I didn't know what a concealer was. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Um, I took my bronzer to set my foundation. I didn't know anything about makeup. Question number two leads. Um, have you gone through any makeup phrases you look back on now and think, what the fluff was I doing? Uh, yeah, as I said, I kind of set my face with bronzer. Now I'm like, oh my god, that must have looked so bad. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that I can look back on. But I mean, I just, I don't really care. Question number three. Have you ever been in a makeup rut where you did the same look for a very long period of time? Yes and no. I've been in periods where I use the same foundation or the same bronzer or the same blush or highlight or whatever like I'm obsessed with or the same palette but I know I've never been in it with my eyeshadow and stuff like that no never 
I I don't know, but makeup is like creative thing for me. It's like a creative outlet. So if I play with makeup, I want to play with makeup and I don't want to do the same look over and over and over and over again. So no, maybe like when I was younger and did, did the same um, makeup routine for school and work and such, but not other than that. What was your first high-end purchase? I think it was my first ever purchase when I got into makeup this time because the, the product I actually purchased was N. ABH dip brow. I never watched YouTube back then, but I remember seeing so many people blog and all of them used the dip brow pomade. So I was like, okay, maybe I need to purchase it. So I did and I, I like I, I purchased almost like a black one because I, I don't know, I as I said, like shades and such wasn't my strong point. So yeah, it has to be my ABH Dipro pomade. What makeup item or items have you been repurchasing the most and how long has it been in your rotation? I have a video with products that I always repurchase. I can link it up here, but I don't know if I always repurchase them right now. But I have repurchased the ABH uh, Dipro pomade ever since I got into makeup, so maybe like four years. Now I have the Kat Von D one. I don't like it as much. It's way more dry. I will try and use it up and then I will go back to my ABH pomade because I don't really support Kat Von D at the moment and I don't think I ever will. Uh, so that's one thing. I have repurchased the NYX banana powder a couple of times. I don't think I use anything currently that I am like always repurchasing. Ugh. Yeah, oh, my Wet n Wild um, uh, brow powder that I always use. Um, I have repurchased that for probably eight, seven or eight years now. Uh, maybe I was 19 when I found it. Yeah, seven or eight years. So that's a product that I like swear by and <laughs> I like that product is like perfection. I love it. Question number six. What does your family and friends think of your makeup obsession? Um... As I've said, I am, a, I am a very lonely person, so I can't really say anything about it. The people in my life that's not my boyfriend don't really talk to me about it. About it. They don't really care, so I don't know, nothing. <laughs> but my boyfriend says like one thing. As long as I can pay my bills, then he doesn't care how much makeup I purchase. And he supports me, he purchased makeup for me sometime. He re recently, you know, I've been a little bit down lately, so he purchased this one for me. This is the Dose of Color and I Love Sarah E highlight. This is vegan, by the way, and in the shade Soulmate. I'm wearing this today. It's Look at that. Oh my god, it's just blinding. It's so pretty. So um, he's very supportive and you know, as long as I can pay my share, we, sh we split everything to food, uh, the dog, uh, the rent, everything. We split on everything. The money that's left after all the bills is mine and then his money is his. So we can do whatever we want with it. And yeah, as long as I can pay for myself, then he doesn't really care. And he is supportive. He's the best, the best man out there. What or who inspires the way you do your makeup? No one, like I do the makeup I wanna wear. Sometimes, okay, not everyone will agree with me, but this is a little bit more like grungy, muted, and toned down for me. <laughs> so, this is the what I wanted to wear today. Sometimes I want to wear something really colorful. Sometimes I don't even want to wear mascara or even like eyeshadow at all. Then I maybe just do my brows and my base. Sometimes I want to do like full face, full glam, everything. And that's what I do. Describe your current makeup style in three words. Colorful, dewy, and colorful. Or maybe even like colorful, dewy and all in that's four words but you know what i mean or colorful fierce and dewy but definitely colorful and dewy that's two of them anyway what pushed you to start your youtube channel 
I started my channel 2005, 15 I mean, so it's been three years now and I started my YouTube channel <laughs> and I was like, this is gonna be easy, this is gonna be like fast money, everyone is gonna watch me, <laughs> and then I flopped, I didn't like, so this year I just started doing it for myself and for me, I started doing the videos that I think is fun to watch instead of just trying to do the videos that you know all of these like big beauty gurus does so I was just like I'm gonna be myself what pushed me I don't know but I mean right now what pushes me to continue with my youtube channel is the like you guys i've said this before but i don't think that i would do as many videos as i do if i didn't have you guys like if no one watched me i would still put up videos but i wouldn't put up as many videos as i do because the highlight of my day is when the day is done and i sit down with my phone or a computer and just talk to you guys and answer to your comments um that is just something that i think is so fun so yeah it's definitely you guys that just keeps me going but that's basically because all of the love that i get so thank you <laughs> number 10 do you think you will be on youtube in three years from now yeah probably if nothing drastic changes then i will be if something else comes instead of youtube a different platform or something then I will be on that platform but I will continue to put out content if I like it or if like my life doesn't drastically change so that was all of the question I'm not gonna tag people I'm just gonna say like if you want to do this tag please do it because it was really fun but please give me a like if you like this video if you didn't like it dislike the video don't forget to check out Annette she's a sweetie and I would love for her to get like a K 1k so she can be monetized don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I'll see you guys very very soon bye